how are you all hope you all are doing well so today my video is about uh, springtime in california so oh before that i want to uh welcome and thank my new subscribers um i have a confession to make my subscribers so far have been just my family members <laughs> yeah welcome and thank you for uh, subscribing uh, i started doing these videos because you know i wanted a creative outlet during um covid times and i used to kind of voyeuristically go into other people's uh videos and watch how they lived you know people who live in italy people who live in uh uh, in London and India and um, even in the United States and other parts uh, in New York. So, um, so yeah, it was fun. That was the only way we could travel and connect with people for the longest time. So I was like, okay, let me do that uh, from here in California. So anyhow, that's how it started. So I'm going back to that. Uh, and this video is all about springtime in California. So I hope you like it. Let's see what it's like here in spring. spring guys and it's pretty much my favorite time of year i think it's just everything is so beautiful around here nature is at its best so i'll try and capture in my coming videos a little bit of how gorgeous it looks around this time of the year so we are on our walk and we have a little companion today because we are babies pet sitting our neighbor's dog because they're on vacation they're in hawaii Lucky them. Uh, so we have a little friend with us. This is some kind of red berries. Wow, against the white fence. The distressed white fence. But just look at the color on that. Crisp green. Red contrast. Oh my goodness. So I looked up that bush behind me, you know, with the red berries. It turns out it's a holly, some sort of a holly. I got two answers Chinese holly, English holly. So I don't know what the uh, what nationality we want to assign to it, but it's definitely a holly. And here is the mother of all hollies. Here we have a classic daffodil. Just a couple weeks ago, this is what the daffodil plant looked like, just spurting out of the ground. And now look, it's daffodils everywhere. So now I'm walking you to Daffodil Central. There is this guy who plants all these daffodil bulbs and he's been doing it for years. And uh, you can even donate to his program, but I think he's been doing it out of his own free will. And this entire place comes to bloom and it looks so gorgeous in March and April. In fact, even the traffic slows down around here because people are just taking it in. And I see lots of youngsters, you know, posing in front of these uh, daffodils, taking Instagrammable pictures. So this really is um, a sight to see around springtime. Fills my heart. So guys, I got this new lemongrass for my lemongrass tea um, from uh, from my farmer's market this morning. Uh, so I have some leftover lemongrass from the last time and look what's happened to it. It's been growing roots. Do you see that? So I'm thinking I'm going to transfer this to a little pot which I have over here and uh, let's see if it grows and that way I could get fresh lemongrass that I'm going to keep by my windowsill and every morning just snip off a little bit and make tea. Let's see if it works. 
I'm so excited. And here we are three weeks later. Look at this, it has taken off. It's so long, my lemongrass. I'm gonna make lemongrass tea. Wow. And a month later, it's a savanna grassland. <laughs> I may have to move this outdoors now. It's going out of control. extra green onions. Sun and hail. What a unique combination. Dude, some of these pieces, they're like diamond solitaires a little conical on the sides I don't know if you can tell there's so much hail falling on the spring onions I planted yesterday I wonder if it'll survive all those ice we'll see and this is how this turned out look at it it's even getting a flower so I better use these quickly but it's looking nice and healthy and robust. So guys, as I was um, chopping these green onions, I found that uh, they were a lot meatier than the ones that I had in the fridge. Um, so yeah, so I think this is the way to go plant it. Um, and it just stays nice and fresh for as long as you want. Otherwise by now they would have probably all wilted definitely in the fridge. So if you have the option to plant it, um, I found that this part especially was really nice and meaty and juicy and such fresh green greens. I'm gonna make a fried rice. So guys, I tried to do something fun. So I thought uh, what I'll do is in my backyard, I will do this time-lapse video, you know, that captures um, the changing seasons. So I started taking these pictures in late winter and till about or late spring and just to see the transformation of the trees um, of the cherry blossoms in my backyard and um, it didn't turn out anything like what i was expecting it was a disaster <laughs> basically so it's it's a little choppy uh, but uh, but yeah it gives you a sense of how the scenery changes here i uh, hope you like that enjoy i try to make it sound transcendental <laughs> soaking up every bit of sun that has been newly bestowed upon us. This is the nectarine tree that does not fruit for some reason. <coughs> Last two years, not had much luck, uh, but the flowers are gorgeous. So nectarine is like a peach, just sweeter. So that's why nectarine from nectar. Mm, not a bad feeling to lie down on the grass and to watch the world go by. And also to look at these beautiful flowers above you. And when uh, there's a bit of a breeze, um, these flowers, uh, they start showering petals on you and it's just fantastic. Guys, 
guys have never seen a bottle brush this color just look at it it's a beautiful pink fuchsia like uh, you know so mostly bottle brushes crimson red but this was I was astounded and amazed to see this you can even hear the birds in the background can you but isn't this just beautiful this color isn't it unbelievable and generous someone's left lemons here for pickup so nice how sweet I'm definitely gonna get a couple Let's get two So guys, that was a fruitful walk. I get so excited with free stuff. In this house over here, uh, there lives a chicken. And uh, you know, she always seems to escape the coop. So the neighbors keep calling and reporting on this chicken. So now the owners, what they've done is they've left a poster right by the tree that says, Hi, I'm Mayo. Don't worry about me. I do my own thing. Hope you have a wild and free day. So that's Mayo, who instead of laying eggs in the spring, is out and about running wild. So guys, I cut back the uh, curry plant. In the spring, you're supposed to cut it back. So, you know, in the summer, you'll have nice leaves. These leaves I didn't cut and this is looking great already. Uh, but I'm really excited about these new leaves that are popping up on the curry plant. Oranges I got. So it's spring season and my friend's orange tree is... <laughs> bountiful. Is bountiful? I think so. Uh, so she gave me all of these lovely oranges and she has the best and sweetest oranges ever. So I got this, picked it up from her and also a bag of lemons that are overflowing from this bag. Just look at it. Tons and tons of lemons and she said even the rind, look at how big it is, the size of my palm. Even the rind is tasty. It's not bitter at all. So I'm going to use this in salads and things like that. So excited. How many pounds do you think that is? 20 pounds? 30 pounds? Five, five. Uh, what? Five pounds? So I, huh? It feels like a five pound. No, I, I'm sure it's a lot more than that. A lot more than that. Thank you. So every year she gives me f her oranges. And it's so sweet and juicy. It's just dripping juice as I'm holding it. It's so good. Mm. Mm. And local, free. That's her, Bella Bella. Ella. So kids have gone back to school here. In my son's case, they're going back every alternate week. <laughs> oh my god, Is, was he a mask like that all day? Yeah. I hope not. I know you're kidding. So I picked him some dim sum. Because it, I think it is hard for them to get back after being home for this long. Hakao, shrimp dumpling, Chinese broccoli with oyster sauce on the side. Oh, this is the buns. I wanted the steamed barbecue pork buns. But she said these brown ones are even better. So the baked ones are better. So let's try that. I hope it doesn't disappoint. Xiao Long Bao. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But the juicy pork dumplings. Love these. That's a monarch butterfly in my gardens. 
they're on their way to Mexico or are they coming from Mexico since it's getting warmer? It's one of the two. Oh, where did she go? Oh, there she goes. So our house is a little stopover, I think. A little stopover. Well, if you're returning, welcome back, a monarch butterfly. Beautiful. Every year I see at least one of these. Me and my mask are going for a walk, a hike, guys. Good friends. Our friendship has lasted a year. Best time to hike because the hills are still green. It's so beautiful. It's all going to turn brown and it's going to turn hot. So um, just look at it. Let me show you. Look at it. Isn't it gorgeous? Where am I? In a fairy tale? Oh my gosh. And uh, But it looks like this only in the spring. Uh, you may have heard about California fires. That happens in the summer when all of this turns brown sadly and dry. It's a tinderbox. Uh, I don't miss this oak tree. The gnarly old oak tree. Gorgeous again. The beauty of it all. California poppies guys. This is our state flower um, But it's kind of closed right now because it's the evening so it needs the Sun I think so when the Sun it opens up Let me show you what that looks like. Here we go. Isn't it pretty? So the California poppies. Yeah, it's kind of an orangish. Yeah color yellow orange Beautiful. So our state animal is a bear and a flower is a puppy. So we love to go on family hikes in the spring because it's always cooler and it's just so beautiful and green. <laughs> oh my god, I thought I was done. I was huffing and puffing and I look at the path all the way up. Jeez. I feel like I'm in Switzerland. It's like the sound of music. Do re mi. What? Skip along. So guys, hope you liked watching that. Do like, share and subscribe. And um, just a little window into my world here in the months of March and April. And uh, I'm glad you came on this little ride with me. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.